This is a monster movie with African monster. This is African monster. He's very scary in his cheetah, in his cheetah suit. In his cheetah suit. He's African monster because I have a monster at home. He's my grandson Noah, and I have an axe man at home. He's my grandson Owen, and I have a Liddy Biddy at home. She's my granddaughter Lydia. He reminds me of Monster Man because Monster Man's the oldest of all of them and almost walking and he's just a lot of fun. So I call him my African monster. I want to tell you something just from the heart. Uh, a year and a half ago my son died, Daniel. He died in a river in Germany, he drowned. It was June 11th, 2017. A lot of things have changed since then. I still occasionally have a bad dream where I am told that one of my grandchildren has died. Uh, it always is my grandchildren, not my children, but uh, every once in a while. But I, I saw recently um, something that really bothered me. There was a sculpture of a person on a bench, and there was a hole in the middle of them. And they were down, uh, their head was down in grief, and they were very, very, it was clear that they were empty inside. And this was a sculpture that's meant to say how a person feels when a child dies. I don't agree with that sculpture. Now, when my child died, it was extremely hard. Uh, there was weeping for many days. But there was also activity for many days. The grief was transformed into action. And because of that grief, many people... No, 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 no. We have to be quiet, because we're talking about serious things. No, no, stop. No, stop, stop. you got to stop. See, when you have a... African monster, he won't always do what you tell him. Because that's why they're monsters, because they do what they want. So, there were many things that happened when my son died. But there were many beautiful and blessed things too. Because there were people that I wouldn't have been able to help, except that I had the knowledge or the experience of having a son die. And I'm a Christian, so I pray. And I pray a lot. And in fact, I prayed for many, many, many many people uh, because of uh, them knowing about Daniel. No, you gotta stop. No, you gotta stop. You gotta stop or else, yeah, can't, or else we can't keep doing the movie. So you gotta be quiet. You gotta be quiet, okay? Can you do that? So usually he's quiet, but this time he's not. The more serious the subject, I think, the more likely he's going to be silly. He doesn't even know what I'm saying exactly. Although he can say words like carrot and father and um, some other things. I think he knows that he's African monster when I call him that. So, I don't think a person should go around feeling empty inside because their son died or their daughter died or their husband died or their wife died. Because there's grief that has to be transformed into action. Grief is a powerful energy. You can use grief for good things, to pray to God, to have see God's mercy, see God's providence, or you can sit on a park bench and have a hole in your stomach and be empty. And I choose to feel God working in my life instead. Now I'm here with African Monster because I'm in Africa. And the reason I'm in Africa is because Father Methodius is a good friend and all of his family have become de very dear to me. Uh, Papa Thea Evelyn and Blessings, that's the firstborn, and it's a boy, and then also Christine. And this is Pendelaman otherwise known as African Monster. But he came uh, and visited our church uh, and I was asked um, for him to come and I said yes, I think I would have done that even if Daniel was still alive. But then he, uh, we, we really liked each other, got along with each other really well and he asked me to come to Kenya. I'm not positive that I would have come to Kenya if my son had died. See, I seem to have this uh, desire to have more involved in more things, use my energy uh, to help people more after my son Daniel died. Because I'm trying to use that energy. Because if, if you don't use the energy of grief in a positive way, it eats you up. It eats you up. And even now, there's times when it eats me up for a little while, but not for very, not, not for very long. You got to say? Not for very long. So I came to Kenya, I think, because my son Daniel died. I really think that's the major reason. And I'm very glad I did. And now, I, um, my heart is also going to still be in Kenya even after I leave. Of course, my heart's going to also be 
in my parish, with my grandchildren, with my family. But a human heart is uh, deep, according to the scriptures. It's a deep heart. So a human heart is big enough to contain Kenya and the United States and prison ministry and wherever else I go. So that was just a little bit. Hopefully we hear it despite African monster here. Because he's just uh, not understanding that we're trying to be serious here. So, Mungu um, Awa Bariki. Bye-bye.